We just learned how you can manage the Azure resources using portal.azure.com. But you know, that's not the only method. There are several methods you can use to connect to the portal. Using mobile applications is one of the preferred methods because you can manage the resources on the go. So I have the application installed on my phone, but regardless of whether you are an Android user or iOS, you got the application for both kind of users. Now, what can you do with the mobile applications? Let's, let's see what we can do here. So if I click on subscriptions right there, so you can manage all your subscriptions. So regardless of how many subscriptions you have in your enterprise, you will see all of them right here upon your authentication. So I can manage the permissions for my users in the resource group go back and then click on the resources to identify the resources I have in my resource group. You click on individual resource group to identify how many resources I have there. And of course you can manage them, restart virtual machines, adding a new hard disk, extending the memory of the disk is just one of the features. You can click on notifications and then identify how many alerts you have in the last 24 hours. How about managing your interface using Cloud Shell? Now this is an intuitive way of managing resources using a script. So regardless you are a PowerShell user or a Bash or maybe Windows or Linux, you can manage both kind of scripts right from a single interface. That's the best part. You can toggle between PowerShell and Bash with a single click right there, but you may have to just restart the Cloud Shell. It takes about six or seven seconds to come up. So it's pretty quick. So all you need to do is store all your scripts right here in the cloud shell and manage from there. So if you think you've got to restart a whole set of virtual machines in from the interface, this is the way to go. Now, that means that you can now manage the resources from your mobile phone. All you need to do is have the application installed and for security purposes, have the multi-factor authentication set up on the phone as well.